Hey there, friends. How's it going? And welcome to Past Present Play. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to episode two of Next Play. Let's play the game. So welcome to paradise. All right. So off the bat, I think we have to create a player because when I joined the game, it came up with a character selector, but I didn't want to go ahead and pick anything. So we have to pick our survivor. Oh, look at this handsome buck right here. I am a male, so I'm going to pick a male character. All right. Okay. Pretty diverse selection. We got 12 whole characters. Oh, their pants are messed up. That's pretty generic. All right, I'm going with a handsome buck. He seems like he'd be good in the outdoors. Yeah. I haven't played this game, clearly. This is the first time I booted up and I'm playing it. Yeah, single player, since I have no friends. Slot zero, and let's go. Welcome to paradise. Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Are you exhausted? Without resources? A home? Without anyone to rely on? Don't despair. Hang in there. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise. Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our Zombie Guard technology. It's a haven of peace where zombies are under our control. Here, zombies no longer attack you, they defend you. Yes, you heard that right. It's incredible. Thanks to our Zombie Guard technology, Zombies have become genuine bodyguards that serve you. Thousands of acres where the living are back in control and existing in harmony, far from the pandemic, thanks to this groundbreaking technology. Stores, security guards, hospitals, industry, movie theaters. A safe place for everyone, where men, women, and children have nothing more to fear from outside zombies you don't need money, a title, or diploma to get your own zombie guard. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Uh oh. Is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Okay. I knew it was a zombie game, but I had no idea this was the premise. Seduced by the promise of safety and semblance of a normal life, you traveled across the country to paradise. All right, there's me, the handsome Chad. Wow, look at that bridge, and look at all those zombies. The game looks good. Cranked everything to the highest setting, so. Oh, okay. Nice perspective. It's like a little bit of a top-down, so I don't really need the mouse, I guess, but probably for clicking E. Ah, uh, we got a stick. Nice. Oh, okay. I like the environment. It looks unique. All right, be careful. Let's not fall. My feet are clipping through the wood. Maybe that's just how it is. Whoa. Look at all those zombies. They're going crazy. Okay. Have we made it to uh, paradise? The guardian shelter. Okay. Hello. Ah, I could watch them all day. Don't even need to fetch wood. They feed the generator all by themselves. No more worrying about electricity. Maybe I could teach them to cultivate my veggie garden. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Are you wanting to move in here? Oh, this is paradise. Uh, wait, uh, hold up. What am I supposed to do? No one ever wants to move in here. Uh, uh... Yes, the bylaws. Yes, that's it. Rule number one of the Paradise Bylaws. To gain authorization to move in, you must have a Zombot. No one should move around in Paradise without Zombot protection. So before anything else, find a Zombot. Go see Bob. He supplied mine. This guy's kind of insane, but okay, let's go find Bob. M to open the map. 
God, Bob is far. Don't die fighting Bob. Got it. Let's uh, go do that. Look at all these Zombots. They're just collecting wood. Wow. Alright, let's head over to Bob. Maybe we can find a better weapon than this stick, too. Oh god, what if they want my stick? What happened here anyways? Because this is supposed to be paradise. What is this? Oh, it's fast travel? Oh, well, we can't fast travel anywhere. It's just the forest entrance is where we gotta go. Why is Bob in the forest? How do I know a good zombie from a bad zombie? I guess if they have the thing on their head, they're a good zombie. It's teaching me how to quick attack. Ooh, leaves. Oh, that looks like a bad zombie. Back. Oh, that's kind of gruesome. Are you a good zombie? Ripped cloth, I'll take it. Are you guys friendly? Which one of you guys are not friendly? I think the ones with the static are friendly. Oh, maybe. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at how they walk towards you. Get away from me. Oh, she forgot. Okay, no, we're good. They're not that hard to fight, though. Hold down to hit a... Oh, a charge. I can go baseball swinging. Nice. That would have been a home run. All right, let's keep on going. We got to go find Bob. We got some stuff over here. Bob's archives P-48-3. The emotional support Zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your Zombot with a saddle, then order it to heal you while in combat and to collect items while out of combat. And that's it. Oh, sweet a dab. Heal you, transport you, and collect items. Hmm? There's more to life than combat. Okay, thanks, Bob. This stick is really strong. Look at that. Rip cloth. I'm just going to take all the supplies I can find early on. Because I don't know what I need and what I don't need. What do we got, Bob? Bob's archives P-89-5, the social distancing zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your Zombot with spiked armor and a bat. In order to use this to provoke enemies. Oh my god, while they just combat. stab it through the zombie. I guess he can't feel, so it's okay, but still messed up. I like the music. And that is it. First with the spikes and your Zombot's bat. The enemy shouldn't get any closer, but if provoked, they won't be able to help themselves. Aw, oh, free hugs. Ah, yeah, fast travel. Hi, guys. Oh, they wave. Oh, you must be Bob. Oh, hey. You're new here, right? Ha. I'm Bob. I'm the one who got the Zombot technology back up and running. The zombie hacking. You want Zombot? I can't give you mine. I need them too much. So, you should capture your own. Grab a broken helmet from one of the malfunctioning Zombots in front of my camp. Repair it and force it onto the head of a wild zombie. Ha <laughs> ha! If it stops wanting to eat you, it's worked. If not, uh, run. There we go. I think he dropped one. All right, we got a broken helmet. All right, let's see. Crafting. Oh, zombie coming! You tried to get me in my inventory. And that's what you get. All right, let's try this again. Crafting. Craft. All right, so we got a hacking helmet. Approach a zombie that you've knocked down or out and press F to put the helmet on his head. Okay. I think we could do that. I don't want either of those. Those were not nice zombies. Ooh. Which one looks fun? I like their... Oh, this one's eager to get a job. All right. Welcome to the job market. Aha! I've captured one. Look at him go. Don't worry, I got him this time. We should name him. Oh, he's going crazy. All right, I thought of a name. Since my name is Chad, this is Brad. There he goes. Look at him. He grows up so fast. Chad is such a beast. That zombie didn't stand a chance. Oh, we got to go talk to the warden. All right, come on, Chad. 
Wow, look at that run, Chad. <laughs> Chad, <laughs> you got something wrong with your leg. Well, you got a lot wrong with you, but I guess your leg is the least of your problems. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, Chad. All right, Chad, stay back. No, 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 Chad. No, no, Chad. All right, Chad, help me with these. There's a lot. Oh, the flashlight blinds them. That's pretty good to know. So far, the game is uh, unique. I'll give it that. I never thought I'd be playing a game where I'm... Uh, the master of Chad. All right, Chad, oh, go crazy. No. Wild zombies have got in. They, they, they. Ah, oh, not again. Oh God, there's so many. Eliminate the last of the feral zombies. I'm trying, but they're all going over there. Oh, whoa. whoa. My guy is strong. Good job, Brad. Wait, no, I'm Chad. Brad is the other one. Sorry, guys, I'm having a cr identity crisis. I hope Brad's okay. This one's still alive. Whoa, finisher. Get away from me, lady. Whoa, ah. Well, I guess I'm going to need that band-aid now. Yeah, nice swing. Did they kill Brad? No, Brad, he's dead. Well, he's dead again. You again? Feed my generator with mood. My zombots are down and the gate won't close without electricity. All right, we got a new Brad. This is Brad 2.0. What do I do here? Okay, five Press six. The button. What Close button? Close the gate. Oh. We can't let any other one. We did it. Oh no! You didn't make it in in time. Hi, Brad. Thanks for the stick. Oh, we could change the way his helmet looks. Hmm. Which one fits him? Actually, this is perfect. All right, we got different outfits. There's 30 different outfits, but they all just seem like the same thing with different colors. My Zombot's going crazy in the bottom. Oh, they are my prisoners, so this is fitting. God, that would be terrifying. All right, you do your thing while I go talk to the warden now, all right, Brad? Hello, warden. Oh, one less. Oh, that'll teach me to forget to close the gate. Thankfully, the pit keeps most wild zombies out of paradise. And you found a zombot? Great! Here are the plans for building your camp. You need to go to the other side of the river, to the wild forest. Be careful out there. There's no one left there. And the zombots are out of control. You'd better find yourself a weapon. Don't look at me like that. I can't do the cleaning as well as watch the gate. Go see the circus sharpshooter who has settled in the area. All right, I can do that. You ready, Brad? Oh, nice finisher. We really hit the target on that one. All right, so we got full gear. That's nice. Oh, another zombie. Oh, this one's got a backpack. Nice finisher, even though they're both the same, but... Oh, there's a saddle? Can I ride my Brad? Oh, he's going for this one now. Oh my god, that was a nice swing, Brad. All right, can I put the saddle on, Brad? Relive the glory days of the Knights of Old by using your Zombot as a trusty seat. I can ride my zombie? Yo, this, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Let's go, Brad. Can I fight? Well, oh, I can fight as a zombie on this. All right. Hello. Just riding my zombie. How do I get off of him? How do I get off? Um, how do I get off Brad? I can't. How do I? I am stuck on top of Brad. Oh, whoa. He t posed. That was pretty sick looking. Nice.
How did you manage to make it here? You're looking for a weapon? Good timing. My, uh, Zombots have started attacking everything that moves, including me. I need someone to teach them some manners. I'll let you take their weapons if you finish them off. He's got an arrow in his head I could use. Oh my god, he's like a horse. Brad, no, 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 you're missing it. Ow! Oh my god, I gotta get that guy. Whoa, nice dodge! I didn't even know I could do that. I can't really tell which one's Brad anymore because we're all dressed the same. Ah! God, this is uh, not looking so hot. I think they killed Brad. Nice dodge. Ow, they got me while I'm freaking. Let's finish it. Finish it. There we go. Yeah, Judge take that. That was a nice dead. kill. Destroy the pylon, kiddo. I'm done with that brainiac and his newfangled technology. All right, hang on, hang on. I got to make me a band-aid. I almost died there. All right, that's better. No. Brad, we've lost you. Oh. Get out of here, punk. You guys killed Brad. This is what you get. A Stompski to the face. We've got a lot of common air pistols, but can I... Oh! Ah! Where do you guys keep coming from? I have no ammo! And... Whoa! Where did that guy come from? Where's he going? De destroy the pylon? What is Whoa! They're just flying in here! Maybe that's where they're spawning. Oh, that's what that is. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. How do I craft? How do I craft? We're going to die. We died. Ah, oh, dang it. Don't worry. We're, we'll get the hang of this. I know I died. Respawn. Oh, we respawned right here. Wait, is Brad back? Oh, Brad's alive. Wait, it's me. It's zombie me. Finish myself off. Oh, that sounded raunchy. Okay, Brad, beat it. Good job, Brad. That's pretty cool. You can turn into zombie you. Well, you got to fight zombie you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. We got another Bob message. Bob's archives P-21-1. The high score zombie. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your Zombot with a zombie target and an air pistol, then order it to use its weapon while in combat. And that's it! While the zombies try to hit the bullseye, it's your Zombot who's threatening them! <laughs> Aw, poor zombie. Oh, look at that shooting style. This game is pretty much a meme. I kind of like it so far, though. It's uh, it's unique for sure. As this, all right, you ready? You ready, Brad? Oh yeah. But uh, I was saying this game's got a lot of depth to it because if you look down here, we got like cold and hot. We got we got recipes for a plank, so we got to repair a bridge. We got a recipe for rope. Right, are you ready, Brad? I hope you survive this time. Oh, it's like Call of Duty. This is better than the zombies we got this year anyways. Oh my god, look at him go. Oh, reload, reload. Alright, look at that. We're killing him. We're clearing this place out, me and, me and Brad. So we need three of these. Three of these. I'm, and then for this, we just need cloth. Okay, and two of these. Easy. All right. Oh, we can make some armor. We need more leaves and more rope. But what is this? Oh, it's a chest plate. Let's do this. Wow, he's really good at building. 
All right, go ahead, Brad. You go in first. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. All right, headshot. Should probably reload. Reload. Last six rounds. All right, there we go. That was a nice shot. I don't think this one knows I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. Grab. Oh, we got a bat. Nice. Spiky armor. We could probably put that on Brad. Nice headshot. Uh, Brad, can you come help me out here? This thing's taking a lot of hits. Probably because my weapon's not that useful. What is Brad doing? Look at him on the map. He's just kind of like sitting in the corner. Destroy a pylon north of the tower. I am. I'm destroying it. Oh, whoa. He got ejected. Huh? I'm out of stamina. Come on. Brad, where did you go? Oh, no, they got bat. I'm out of stamina. I got to get back to Brad. Look, he's just standing here. What are you doing? No. Oh, no. Brad, what is wrong with you? Get off of Brad. Oh, I died? When did my health get that low? Oh, no. What's happening to me? All right, we got to go help out Brad. Oh, he's right next to me. Brad, you got to help me out. You were just stuck in the water doing... Oh, it's me. Look at that. That's better. He's just healing me. I think I got to fix Brad's brain. Oh, they got guns. Crap. Ow. Brad, heal me. Brad. Oh, my God. Is that like a shotgun? Go ahead, Brad. Well, no, no, no. Go attack him. Oh, thanks for healing me, I guess. Can I make a quick band-aid? Use a band-aid. Use a band-aid. All right, good job, Brad. You're really holding your own. This one's just got a bucket. Yeah, get out of here. Can I have the bucket? No. Where's that? It's an air pump gun. Yeah, that's sweet. Thanks for healing me, Brad. Okay, we need metal plates and then a little bit more nails and we still need planks, but planks are just wood. So let's go find one more metal plank. Oh, geez. Look at them. Come. Oh, I think Brad died. Get out of here. Nice dodge. There we go. Dodge. Yeah. I got the straps now. This is the last one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, we lost Brad, I think. Let's go see if we can get Brad. Oh, well, we can capture. All right, which one of these? This one kind of looks like Brad. I'm just going to take this guy. Oh, I guess we'll take this guy. Oh, it gives him the clothes. You're no Brad, but you're now the new Brad. So I guess that's fine. Because Brad would heal me, but this Brad doesn't seem to want to heal me. The only zombies that are actual threats are the ones that can shoot you. Ow. There we go. Oh, that one's not attacking me. Thanks for the healies. Ah, ah, come on, Brad. Two and me. I feel like I got to turn that heal thing off because Brad's a little too focused on trying to heal me. He's like, I can fix him. Yeah, the game is uh, it's got a good premise. It's definitely different. Destroyed store, but I'm oh God, these things again. Uh, the combat's definitely difficult. Come on, finish it. There we go. Oh, God. I'm out of stamina. I gotta retreat, Brad. It's all you for now. I gotta make bandages. Go ahead, Brad. You got this. I just abandoned Brad, but I know he could do it. All right, use the bandages. And let's go help Bar Brad again. Ah, these guys take out a lot of damage. Finish them off. 
Oh no, Brad's dead. This guy's doing 360s. He's trying to put me in a montage. Oh no, more spawning. Come on, fall over. I'm out of stamina. Oh, come on. Okay. Don't shoot me. There we go. Now you can shoot me. No, don't shoot me. Ow. You jerk. I killed all your friends and now you're next. Finish them off. Do we have enough to make a bandit? Please say yes. No, we need sage. We also need to make a new zombie friend, but we don't have any hacking. Oh, wait, we can make hacking helmets. That's something we can do. I'm just going to make two because I don't think my uh, current Brad's will always survive. So welcome back, Brad. All right. Please heal me, Brad. I'm not doing so hot. Thank you, Brad. Your touching embrace really does help. Heal me again. Ah, I died, Brad. Where were you? Oh, we lost XP. But I lost my relationship with Brad. Press and hold F to dismantle all of your duplicate. Oh, that's nice to know. Oh, I was like, this zombie's really gaining on me, but it's just Brad. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just keep running this way. Come on, Brad. Keep up. Brad's so cute. He looks like an Amazon delivery boy right now with that package. All right, Brad. You know what? Give me a ride, my boy. Yeah. Cowboys used to ride these things for miles. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Back up. Me and Brad are just going to run by you. Not really anything here, so it's like we're just kind of going for a Sunday stroll. Trying to find more bridges, but I guess we got to just go north because there's just nowhere else there. Free me, Brad. Oh, my God. They got instruments. Oh, my God. They just summoned all of them. Brad, destroy. There we go. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Brad! Oh, we did it. Oh, that one was weird. They just played an instrument and all of them just spawned. We still need... Th oh, we got a trumpet. So I guess we could have Brad do the trumpet. Thanks for healing me, Brad. Let's go. Onward! God, it's so hard to find the things we got to destroy because then you got to not only fight the things, you got to somehow destroy it while you're fighting them because then they keep spawning. Ah, ah, ah. I'm almost dead, Brad. You take him out, Brad. There you go. Heal me, Brad. I need it. All right. I'm going to give him the... Sp oh, not that. The spiky ammo. Oh, God, Brad, we got to destroy this. Yeah, Brad, we got this last one. Still need a lot more. Oh, drink. What can I drink from the water? That is not water, but sure. I'm glad you're hydrated. All right, Brad, you ready? I'm going to use a Band-Aid Paradise Entrance. What do we got? Welcome to Paradise, boys. Come on, Brad. Let's get out of this place. This place sucks. I made that bridge for nothing. I built a bridge and got over it. to repair this bad boy. My guy's so handy. Look at that. Didn't even break a sweat. There we go. Easy. Brad's always ready to defend me whenever he gets the chance to. Stop attacking them, Brad. They weren't even doing nothing. Oh, defend me, Brad. Defend me. Okay, Brad, thank you. I didn't think I'd survive that one because I was distracted. What's this guy doing? Oh, there's something we can destroy. Wait, no. This is someone's camp, I think. What does this do? 
Oh, defenses. That's pretty cool. Look at these freaking security guards at this hospital. Hello. Let's go back across the thing, see what we can find. Gosh, this game has a lot more depth than I thought. Oh no. I miss. God, there's so many of them. Alright, finish this one off. Nope, okay. Beat the one behind me? Yeah, you thought you could sneak up on me? Oh, we can capture this one. Oh no, that means we lost Brad. Get up, Brad. You're not dead. You're just sleeping. While Brad attacks this thing, I'll beat up these. There we go. Brad, you almost got that? I guess I'll finish it. Thanks, Brad. You did pretty well there. Gotta activate this tower for a checkpoint. I'm getting the hang of this game, kinda. I mean, there's still a lot to... Oh, dang it. I messed it up at the end. Sorry. Alright, we need one more metal plate, and then we can move on. So let's go ahead and finish this... Oh, the swamp. We might run into Shrek. Oh my god. There's so many. What is what is in your hand? A chainsaw? Oh, that was a nice swing. Ah, there's so many here. Shrek really got good security. Oh no, I lost my brat again. There's oh no. I always lose my mouse cursor, which is the problem. I need to get some stat- Back up, buddy. Go do your construction job and leave me alone. Oh, nice. Ow. Get this guy. Get him. Finish this one off. Nice. And then finish this one off. There we go. All right, we got this one. Brad with no face. Oh my god, this Brad doesn't even have a head because I ripped it off. Come here, Brad. He's got no face. Oh god, there's more. Brad, take care of him. I don't want to deal with this right now. What is this place and why is it so protected? Ow! You're going to die first, buddy. Just for being a pain in my butt. Oh no, they killed my other Brad. Oh god, oh god, these guys are strong. Where did I walk into that, you know, this is the strongest zombies in the game? And I'm almost dead. I don't have a helmet to capture. Get out of here. Aha, you guys can't come this way. Oh, you can. That one went through the ground. Oh, I'm so dead. These guys are good. Oh, he just dropped his weapon. Oh, no, I died. Why did they just drop their weapons though and just run over? All right, hang on. Let's try to get in here before the zombies spawn and start trying to kill. Wait, where did the... Okay, there it is. Holy crap. Oh, I screwed myself. I'm so dead. I shouldn't be here. Man, I'm dead. Yep. Why do the zombies have their own base? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run over here. All right, you know what? All right. Oh my god, oh my god, Brad, run! I don't think I'm supposed to be here. This is a little bit extreme. That zombie just spawned in. That was Oh my god, their weapons just spawned in. Oh my god, they got like freaking... Oh. oh my god, where am I going? Alright, it's working. Wherever I'm heading up to. 
Music's really kicking off. Oh, where did you come from? And why are you so fast? Run, Chad, run. We have no Brad, so just run. Hired hat, heal, heal. Holy moly. Holy shite. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm ready to run. Just go for a nice jog and sprint. Sprint. Oh, there's a base. Protect me. Oh, can I just go this way? Oh, okay. That worked. Holy crap. Oh my god, this is going to be me in a few seconds. Oh no, there's more. Holy shite, there's a lot. I can outrun them. Hey guys, I'm one of you. I'm just another zombie. Oh my god, what have I done? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh oh. Dodge. Nice. Oh my god, there's snow. I'm definitely not supposed to be here. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my guy's doing okay. The steps, the cold. Oh, shouldn't you guys be slower? God, this music is not helping my situation. Oh, a bridge. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 run! Okay, good. Oh no, there's animals to fight now! Holy sh... How am I alive? Keep going, just, just run. There's an outpost, nice. Holy shit, this one zombie's a quick. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh no, this is a bad outpost. No, 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 no! Ow! Alright, this is where I die. Parkour! Alright, finish me off. Yeah, oh my god, I can't believe we made it that far. Alright, Brad. We really, uh... Well, you abandoned me because you died, but I really made it pretty far without you. I'm kind of a badass, what can I say? We need to find one more little tower so we could get rid of this freaking home sweet home. Oh, here it is. Holy, what is that? These zombies are weird. They're innovative, I'll give them that. Oh, ow. Reload. All right, Brad, you take one, I take the other. These boosters are pretty neat. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, Brad. I'm trying to go for this thing. Come on. Come on. This should be the last one. There we go. We got all the metal plates. We can make a shelter. Okay, but where? Just anywhere? Ah, okay. So we can build it, like, right here. Oh. Let's get up here a little bit. How do I rotate? Is that a thing? It's not really a thing, but here, let's move it down right there. Oh, no, Brad, don't go attack that. All right, we did it. Now, let's before we build a weapons thing, I want to build a freaking safety wall. What do we need for this? Oh, my God. Metal plates per wall. Can I make like a wooden wall or something? Vacation symbol, beach wall, fantasy. Oh, my God. That's kind of cool. But no, all the walls need something freaking hard, like a metal plate. Build a weapons workshop? How do I do that? Is that just go up here? Oh, wait, it's right here. We just need two more planks. Oh, we could do that. I was like, I'm just not seeing it. Okay, oh, two more. Thank you. Now let's go to buildings. Build. Oh, it's kind of big. Uh, let's put it over here. Here, I guess. I don't want it to take up too much space. There we go. Right there. Aha! We did it. 
The generator provides electricity to your camp pylons. If it runs out of fuel and shuts down, your pylons will be deactivated. Okay, so power up the generator. Um, we can put in a good amount of sticks. Brad's collected a good amount. 40. I'm here. Um, so I just put a pile. Oh, hang on. Can you take care of that, Brad? No, you can't. All right. Now, Brad, protect me while I put up a pylon, whatever that is. Standard ah, pylon. Well, it seems like a good enough spot as any. To answer the call on the communication terminal. Okay, let's go find wherever that thing is. Ah, another boot. Oh, we finished the booster. Thanks for the wood, Brad. Uh, come on. I want to collect like an army of these bad boys. Let's go get that call answered. Get out of here. Waste of my time. Oh. There we go. Here's a terminal. Whoa, he did a little jump in the air. Hello, Jeff Tusk here, owner of Paradise, the H2 Lunar Base, and much more. We've just detected your presence in the park. You won't be able to stay very long. The invasion is growing outside the perimeter. It'll be a tidal wave and complete carnage for any survivors. It's the end for Paradise, the end for Earth. All inhabitants have been evacuated to the H2 Lunar Base. We're safe and comfortable here. Humanity's future is up here, not down there. Let me think. Uh, we could come back to find you. Our rockets can land almost anywhere. You just need to build a launch pad strong enough for us to land and launch off again. If I remember correctly, we used a material that was suitable for reinforcing the fence around Paradise. Build the structure for us and let me know when it's done. Is it this thing? Nope. Holy moly, look at that. Retrieve. Wait, what did I just do? What did it? Oh, God. Brad, uh, you might want to run. Wait, we found an alloy plate, but. God, I can't hit anything. Why are they all going for Brad, by the way? Leave Brad alone. Holy crap, there's so many here. We're going to fight them all, Brad. It's you and me. It's you and me all day. All day, Brad. Holy crap. Me and Brad are a killing machine. Look at that. We cleared this whole place out. Brad, collect all this stuff. Nice, Brad. That was sick. Holy crap. We did great. Look at that. Bodies everywhere. All because they were bullying Brad. Oh, hey. Don't worry, Brad. I got these. You don't work. Here. Oh, interact. What do we got here? Found a treasure. A zombie mask. Oh. Wait, can I like, do they not attack me anymore? Because I'm a zombie? What the hell is this? Hang on. There's some information on this. A mask to help you blend in with crowds. Somewhat surprisingly emits a pleasant fragrance of orange blossom. Great. Also, where did I get that band-aid? Did I just find that? Or did Brad give it to me? Come on, Brad. You and me. <laughs> Oh my god, he looks crazy. That was awesome. I'm surprised we actually survived that. I thought we were just done for. Because I saw those zombies and I was like, all right, we might have to fight them or maybe we just run for it. But they were just attacking Brad a little too much for my liking. So I had to teach him a lesson. Okay, here's some blood and bodies. Oh, here's a lot of blood and bodies. All right, here we go. I'm going to call them all over. Nice. Let's see if I can glitch this. No, I can't hit them through the wall. All right, let's do this, Brad. Run, 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 run. All right, we're doing good, Brad. We're going to clear them out again. We're capable. Ow, hit them. Yeah, there you go. Look at Brad. He's just going straight in. I gotta back up, Brad. I need to get my stamina. Oh no, they're beating up Brad pretty good. Ooh. 
Don't you dare hurt my bread. There we go, headshot. This is a pretty freaking sweet part of the game where I'm not just getting killed and I'm killing a lot of zombies. Oh my god, they just keep coming and they don't stop coming. Oh, we're almost there. My guy is exhausted. All right, Brad, let's go uh, build the rocket launch pad, but let's go build it at our camp. Once we figure out, oh, it's all the way up here. Holy crap. All right, uh, let's build the launch pad. Where's the crafting? No, buildings. Ah, here we go. Uh, we need three rope. That's, oh, thank goodness, is something easy. Just build four, I guess, because we're rich like that in rope. Should just be. Oh, yes, there we go. That's actually that's not a bad spot. Upgrade. We don't have a rocket engine. OK, God, I'm getting so good at this. Come on, let's go. Brad, keep up, keep up. Oh, here we go. Hello, hello. Still alive. Great news. Speaking of news, I've got some good news and some bad. Let's start with the good news. You've been accepted into H2. Your luxury condos are waiting for you here on the moon. 24-7 view of Earth. The bad news, which isn't all that bad, is that our board of directors has judged it too risky to come and get you. But not to worry. Our latest rockets can be built as easily as Scandinavian furniture. You just need to find all the parts, assemble them on the launch pad, and that's it. Off to H2 and the good life. Given all the launch tests we did in the area, you should easily find what you need to build your own rocket. Start by searching in our launch base. It's in the desert area, just north of the forest. Third person, but like over the top third person. Gives a good like perspective of like everything. You can like take a look, see what's all around you while you do 360s. Oh no, I died. Brad was too busy attacking those things. Look at me crawling around. No, I want to spawn nearby. Oh god, what does nearby mean? It better not be too far. Please don't be across the map. That was a far ways to go. I probably should start healing a little bit more before I just run out there. Oh, it's cosmetic items only. Okay, I'm going to put some of this stuff on then. Dark Fantasy, Phantasmal Rock. I feel like a soldier. Oh, yeah, look at me now. As long as it's only cosmetic, right? Yes. Um, how do I put this on? Equip. 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 And equip. Nice. I look freaking toasty now. It is a cowboy. Come here, partner. Oh, there's animals. So cute. Uh oh. Lady, just leave me alone. Annoying. Alright, uh, find the launch area. I'm on the way. Of course it's in the desert. That's where they do all the rocket. Oh god! Oh my god! These guys, like, swarmed me. What are they even attacking me with? A machete? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm just swinging at nothing again. This guy doing. Hello. I took a. F oh, he did another jump. Hey, and who might you be? What you want? This here is the entrance to Davis Land. What's Becker wrong with his face? You can't just walk oh, in. that's just his face. You want me to open her up? You're gonna have to prove yourself as worthy. Oh, come on. How about you go hunt a couple of gazelles oh. with a bow? How does that prove Let's anything? See if you got the speed and aim I could admire you for. Now, I want a good show. You better take note. I got my eye on you. 
hunt some gazelles with a bow. I don't have a bow. Do I have to make a bow? Crafting. Weapons. Can't even make a bow. Oh, wait. I need a weapons workshop, you jerk. All right, there we go. Let's go find a weapon shelter so we can go make a bow. Thank you for the heals. Oh, that thing exploded off its own remorse. All right, let's get to this thing. Maybe we could teleport to our base. That'll take us to a weapon shelter. These are pro strats. You're getting them here first, so you're welcome. Takes a little while to load. There we go. Okay. Wait, this isn't weapons. Weapons is over here. Thank you for the healing. My best son. Crap. Wait, do I have to unequip both maybe and then I could use it? No. Can I just not use it? Is it because I'm not level 16 yet? Oh, that's stupid. Can I make a regular bow again? Level 6, level 11. Yeah, I'm going to make one of these. But then I'm going to move it up to this one because I can. Now I can. Ugh, that's so stupid. You got to be a certain level to use a certain bow. That's dumb. Whoa, we just got ejecto seated. Where's Brad? Oh, there he is. Okay. Whoa, Brad, I'm sorry. That's one. That's two. Happy. That was so easy. This bow is pretty cool, though. Oh. Let me put it away, though. I'm not going to waste it. I can't even use this. That's why I couldn't use it. It's level 27. I was just too good, and I killed them. Oh, did a little hop not again. Not bad, I'll admit it. Hunting a gazelle with a bow with zombies all around is the kind of crazy out of mind respect you for. How do? I'm Nolan Davis. Welcome to Davis Land, tourist. Thank you. All right. Wait, whoa, what is this? Full bottle of water. Nice. In case I get thirsty. Oh, you had bad guys right here. What the hell is that? Are you guys Batman? Holy shit. Oh, they're boomerangs. Let's heal up a little. Ah, Brad, where were you? Oh, God, I popped out of my clothes. Spawn nearby. These enemies are so OP. 3,000 XP loss, man. Feck you. Run in. Kill one. Run away. Take a Band-Aid. Brad, what is wrong with you? Get in here. Come here, Brad. Walk this way. Now walk through the damn door. Brad's kind of dumb. Well, I mean, I know he's a zombie, but he's like being dumb. What the heck is going on? I can't even see what I'm doing, but I think I killed him. Common boomerang. Oh, what the hell are you doing, man? All right, sorry for the great content, guys. We can't really see what the hell's going on, but... Oh. How did you throw that backwards? Give me the boomerang. Oh my god, this... Oh. What the hell has this guy got? He's got a problem, is what he's got. And it's me. Let's get to destroying... Oh, point, face this way. There's Brad, Finally. All right, Brad, we got some more zombos over here. Ow, I'm dead again, Brad. Kill them. We're about to lose like 4,000 XP again. Oh, 700. Never mind. God, these things are horrible. All right, Brad. 4,000 XP lost on top of my 700? I like the banjo. That was a nice little banjo. Can we do we just break through it maybe up here? Oh, okay. Ah. When in doubt, break it out. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Holy crap, there's a lot of cowboys around these parts. Howdy partner. Welcome to the end of my machete. 
There's a lot of zombies around here. God, Brad's really just lollygagging late. Whoa, whoa, ow! Thanks, Brad. I, I definitely needed that for real this time. Oh, no. Heal, heal, get some stamina back. Ow, feck me! Thanks, Brad. Why don't you uh, kill the things trying to attack us? Yeah, there you go. Now you want to fight them. Yeah, don't mess with me and Brad. Brad and Chad are at it. God, I hate these guys the worst. Oh, here's another one. Get this uh, freaking band-aid on. Oh, God. Did Brad die? Oh, no. He's just running around again. Brad, can I get some healies? Oh, my God. They just threw that guy over the wall. Ow. Can I drink water for health? Is that a thing? No. We gotta capture another Brad. Oh no, we're out of... Come on, quick, 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 quick. Craft. Craft. Just capture any of them. Use a band-aid. Hopefully you're more useful than the Brad I had. Oh, I killed myself by killing that thing. Crap. But I think we can take him out. Come on, Brad. Let's get back in there before they freaking refix everything. Ah, come on. No, no, no. No, hit the thing. Ah. There we go. Brad, did you... I think Brad definitely died. Ah, no, 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 no. My key broke. My key. My W key. No, don't summon more, you freaking dick. Use the Band-Aid. We got to capture one of these. Oh, we don't have any hacking helmets. Crap. We've almost got it. Go, go, go. No, no, don't freaking interact. Use, there you go. No, you fucking dickhead. Use the bit. Hang on. First things first, get this stupid ass trumpet out of here. There's never a time where I need that thing. All right. While you do that, I'm going to craft one of these, two of these, actually. Another one of these. Capture. Get up, Brad. Keep taking damn naps on me when I'm trying to fight all these zombies. My guy's sweating to death. Do I just give him water or something? I guess, yeah. These don't blow it up? Why? Oh. This game is a lot of me just running around and being freaking ignorantly dumb. Why did they blow up, but the other ones couldn't? Oh, no. All right, that's good. We gotta wait till we have a full shot. Aw, oh, sweet. Grab that heavy armor. Where the hell is Brad? A machine gun? Oh, another big boy. Nice, finish him off. Oh God. Ah! 
Hey, lady. Thanks for sitting still. Thank you. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Oh, capture. I guess Brad somehow freaking died. I don't know how. Get up, Brad. You don't count as Brad. My real Brad would never die that easy. Heal me. Thank you. I should probably equip the machine gun. Common air machine gun. Yeah, let's take that. Uh, reload. Let's see how this bad boy can do. Maybe it'll mow down a couple of them. It's about time to find out. It's not bad. It's pretty decent. Hey, let's see what happens if I wait to shoot. Oh. Take the scrap now since we're going to be shooting through ammo a lot. Ah, this is a tough way to get to a freaking rocket ship. Wow, but this thing is mowing them down. This is sweet. Couldn't have found this at a better time. It's like a better version of Call of Duty. I just got an alert on my watch saying low heart rate. I guess either I'm bored or I'm very calm right now. Brad, heal me. Okay, Brad, just keep running forward, I guess. Don't heal. Thank you. Uh oh. All right, Brad's my distraction. I just mow him down. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad. There weren't even that many. Oh. They all got heavy armor too, so. Oh, Brad's so dead. Yup. Oh, they got machine guns too. Why is he so fast? Where the hell is he going? Okay, see you guys, I guess. Destroy this. Oh, we found the engine. Can we just take it? Okay, we collected it. Oh, hang on. I'm not going to blow that up yet. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's get out of here. Brad, make a run for it. Brad's so dead. But I'm going to help him out as much as I can. Oh, I think that's as much as I can help him. This game is so much better with a machine gun. Imagine if I had like a Gatling gun. I'd just be mowing these suckers down. Is that all of them? Nope. Oh, I, I want this cowboy to be Brad. I don't have a hacking helmet. Okay, make one. I'm just going to make a couple. Four of them. Yeah, because I'll probably need them. Welcome, Brad. All right. Oh, geez. They better not kill this bread too. Hopefully these zombies didn't somehow spawn. They're only gone for like 20 seconds. Come on, Brad. We're almost to it. There it is. Okay. Just as the storm ends, of course. Uh, back to the base because we got to build this rocket. This is a lot of work. And we only got the engine so far. Alright, here we go. E. Upgrade. Crack. Sweet. 
Go back and talk to Jeff. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Jeff one more time. Where's Jeff? Ah, okay, found it. Tusk to Earth. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Anyway, just a few more parts to find and you can join us. There are probably other people with you down there. They must have some information. My father's tests scattered debris all over the area. Now, I'll start looking for an energy source powerful enough to get the rocket off the ground. Won't need much, 20,000 watts and we'll be good. I'm in contact with one of the foolhardy ones back on Earth. Let's call him Mr. X. He assures me he has a solution. So hunt down the rocket parts and protect your rocket pad from wild zombies. I'll take care of the power needed for launch. Anyways, yeah, that was uh, Welcome to Paradise. Let's get into the review of the game, and I will see you guys in a split second. Welcome to Paradise introduces gamers to an apocalypse, not with a whimper, but a bang, or should we say a groan. Released in 2024 by the innovative minds at Eco Software, under the Nikon franchise, this game shatters the mold of traditional survival games by introducing a mechanic so wild it could only be born from the chaos of a post-apocalyptic world. The ability to control zombies. Yes, you are in control of the zombies and they're basically your allies as well as your enemies. In a world where the remnants of civilization clash with the unrestrained wilderness of a new, zombie-dominated order, these creatures become more than just threats. They become your allies, your workforce, and surprisingly, your friends. They are really the key to your survival. It's like someone decided that if you can't beat them, why not join them? Or better yet, make them join you. This groundbreaking approach not only flips the script on survival gameplay, but also adds a layer of strategic depth that will have players rethinking their approach to the apocalypse. We've played so many different zombie games over the years, but this is an approach that is new and refreshing. Imagine the pitch meeting where this idea was proposed. So, zombies are bad, right? But what if they weren't? And thus, Welcome to Paradise was born, a game that challenges players to find sanctuary in chaos, turning the very essence of the apocalypse into a tool for survival. It's a testament to the game's inventive design and narrative depth, ensuring that every playthrough offers a unique blend of thrill, strategy, and the occasional existential crisis about employing the undead. At its core, Welcome to Paradise is a masterful blend of action, adventure, and RPG elements. Wrapped in a survival experience where zombies transition from being your biggest nightmare to your most valuable asset. Picture this, you're navigating through a world where the beauty of nature's reclamation of civilization is marred by the constant threat of being eaten alive and your best hope for survival includes convincing the undead to take up farming. It sounds like a plot twist that not even M. Night Shyamalan could see coming. Players capture these undead nuisance and, with a bit of technological wizardry, transform them into Zombots, the most obedient and versatile workforce since Alexa turned on your lights. But it's not just about turning zombies into gardeners. The game's expansive world challenges players to think strategically about resource management, base construction, and how to leverage their new undead minions against a variety of threats. From the frozen tundras to the scorching deserts, your Zombots will follow, making the term dead weight seem positively outdated. The game intricately weaves these elements into a survival experience that's as much about building a new world as it is about surviving the old one, making Welcome to Paradise a unique and engaging journey through the apocalypse. Welcome to Paradise doesn't just stop at zombie control, it runs wild with it. The game takes the traditional survival game narrative, chews it up, and spits it out as something entirely new and unrecognizable. Players are equipped with advanced technology to hack into the zombie mainframe, if zombies had a mainframe, and turn these drooling, flesh-hungry monsters into obedient zombots. These zombots can be assigned to do various tasks, from the mundane to the absolutely critical, turning the tide of survival in the player's favor. It's like The Sims if your neighborhood was overrun by zombies and every day was a fight for survival. The game also introduces a dynamic ecosystem that reacts to the player's actions, making every decision impactful. Negotiate with other survivors and you might find allies. Take a more aggressive approach and you'll find yourself constantly watching your back. Combat is a delightful mix of direct engagement and tactical zombot deployment, requiring players to think on their feet or risk being overrun. And with multiplayer functionality, you can bring your friends into the fray, proving that there's safety and certainly more laughter. 
in numbers. Crafting weapons becomes an exercise in creativity, turning everyday items into instruments of zombie destruction. In Welcome to Paradise, the apocalypse is not only a backdrop for survival, but a canvas for innovation and humor. The visual representation of Welcome to Paradise is nothing short of a feast for the eyes, blending the macabre with the majestic in a way that could only be described as zombie-tastic. The game's art direction takes the post-apocalyptic aesthetic and injects it with a vibrant burst of life, creating a world where the beauty of nature reclaiming civilization is juxtaposed with the comedic horror of the undead. Every biome, from the chilling embrace of the winter areas to the lush vibrancy of the forests, is rendered with such detail that you can't help but stop to admire the view. Just make sure to keep an eye out for zombies. The landscapes are breathtaking, and you'll find yourself wondering if maybe, just maybe, the apocalypse wouldn't be so bad providing you had a nice camera. However, a lot of times as you're traversing these areas, the areas go from being very barren and not much to see besides the lush environment, to either a lot of zombies in one area, to just a lot of walking in another. So it might need a little bit of balancing or a little bit more items or objects thrown in there to add to the flair. Talking about the character designs, they walk a line between horrifying and endearing, making each zombie encounter a moment of tension and amusement. The game masterfully captures the essence of its setting, delivering an experience that's as visually stunning as it is engaging, proving that even in a world overrun by zombies, beauty can be found if you're not too busy running for your life. The auditory experience in Welcome to Paradise is as rich and layered as its visual counterpart, creating an immersed soundscape that pulls players deeper into its world. From the haunting groans of the undead to the lively hustle and bustle of your burgeoning camp, the game's sound design accentuates its atmosphere, ensuring that players are always fully immersed. The sound of nature reclaiming the world, the clank of weapons, the eerie silence before a zombie horde appears, it all comes together to create a world that's as haunting as it is alive. Weapons clashing, zombies moaning, and the occasional comedic quip from survivors create an auditory experience. The story unfolds like a carefully crafted narrative puzzle, with players piercing together the tale of survival and discovery through interactions with the world and its colorful inhabitants. The game challenges traditional notions of survival, presenting a story that's as much about resilience and innovation as it is about the blurred lines between friend and foe. Players find themselves not just surviving, but thriving, using technology to bend the undead to their will and uncovering the potential for coexistence and community rebuilding in a world that had seemed lost. The narrative is peppered with humor and wit, ensuring that even in the darkest moments, a laugh is never far away. It's a tale that asks players to rethink what it means to survive in a post-apocalyptic world, blending serious themes with lighthearted moments to create a story that's engaging, thought-provoking, and endlessly entertaining. So the game does have variety in the type of missions that you do play. The base building is fun, the combat is fun as well, and the NPCs you run across and the little cinematics are entertaining and funny nonetheless. The world of Welcome to Paradise is as challenging as it is beautiful. Filled with obstacles that test the player's survival skills at every turn. From battling the elements to facing down hordes of zombies and navigating the complexities of interactions with other survivors, the game prevents a relentless gauntlet of challenges that keep players on their toes. It's a world where your biggest triumph can quickly turn into your greatest challenge, proving that in Welcome to Paradise, survival is not just about enduring, but about adapting and overcoming. The game's challenges are designed to be as rewarding as they are perilous, ensuring that every victory feels earned and every setback is just another opportunity to learn, adapt, and grow stronger. Welcome to Paradise hit the digital shelves on February 29, 2024. The game offers a base version priced at a special promotion of $25.49, which is down from the original price of $29.99. This promotion is available until March 7, 2024. For those who wish to dive deeper into the game's world, there's another edition called the Supporter Edition, which is available at $33.99, which is reduced from the original price of $39.99 also until March 7th. The How to Survive Paradise bundle includes both Welcome to Paradise and as well How to Survive 2, a game that was released in 2016. The game also offers a variety of DLC packs, each priced at $2.99, including the Military, Holidays, Phantasm, Dark Fantasy, and Uniforms cosmetic packs, alongside the Paradise Zombot skin, which is only 99 cents. For those seeking an upgrade in visuals, the 4K Textures Pack is available for free, enhancing the already stunning post-apocalyptic landscapes and character designs. 
To ensure a smooth experience, Welcome to Paradise has set forth the following system requirements. The minimum requirements are a Intel Core i7-3770 or AMD Ryzen 5 1400, along with 12 gigabytes of RAM, a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti or Radon RX 6400 or Intel Arc A380. You also need 30 gigabytes of storage. The recommended requirements are an Intel Core i5-8600K or AMD Ryzen 5 3600X, along with 12GB of memory, and your graphics card should at least be a RTX 2060 or an AMD Radon RX 5700 or the Intel Arc A750. These requirements aim to cater to a wide range of gaming setups, ensuring that many players can enjoy the game's offerings without compromising or performance. You can also purchase this game on the PlayStation. On the PlayStation, the Standard Edition is $39.99, while the Zombot Edition is $49.99. The Zombot Edition on PlayStation 5 includes the base game, all the cosmetic packs, and also includes the Archaeology Quest. You can also get the game on Xbox. The Standard Edition is $39.99, and the Welcome to Paradise Zombot Edition is $49.99. Just the same as on PlayStation, you get all the cosmetic packs as well as the Archaeology Quest. Whether you play on PlayStation, Xbox, or even PC, you will be Welcome to Paradise. Here at Past Present Play, we like to give a rating to the games that we do in fact play. Welcome to Paradise gets a 7 out of 10. Welcome to Paradise has refreshed the zombie survival genre with its distinctive gameplay mechanics and narrative world. As players progress, they unlock the ability to control more Zombots, up to a total of 6, which enhances the strategic elements of gameplay. However, this promising mechanic is somewhat underdeveloped, as the limited number of controllable Zombots and their lack of customization options do not fully capitalize on the potential depth of the system. The 7 out of 10 rating reflects certain areas ripe for enhancement. The combat system, while engaging initially, becomes monotonous due to its lack of depth and variety. Early game weapons remain effective too far into the game, reducing the incentive to explore new armaments and strategies. Base building and resource management are promising but feel constrained by the game's simplistic energy system and limited construction options. A significant issue that impacts the gameplay experience is the pathfinding of Zombots. Players have reported frustrations with Zombots not following commands as intended, leading to unnecessary complications and detracting from the strategic gameplay. This pathfinding problem, coupled with the limited interactivity and purpose in vast areas of the game world, contributes to periods of tedium and diminishes the game's overall engagement. Despite these drawbacks, Welcome to Paradise offers a compelling gaming experience through its innovative features and the potential for future enhancements. Addressing the combat variety, expanding base building options, and refining Zombot control and pathfinding could elevate the game beyond its current standing. At this point of release, I believe this game should have came out as early access. However, it is a full-fledged game, which seems very unfair to the people that are buying it right now. The game is fun, but there is a lot of room for improvement here to fully realize its potential. That concludes our comprehensive review of Welcome to Paradise right here at Past Present Play. This was episode 2 of our Next Play Reviews series. Whether this review has piqued your interest or you're already a seasoned survivor of its zombie infested world, we're eager to hear about your adventures and insights. Your contributions enrich our vibrant gaming community. Stay tuned for more in-depth reviews and the latest in gaming by following us. Smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up with our content. Is there a game you're dying or reviving to see us review? Let us know in the comments below. Your pick could star in our next video. Join us again at Next Play Review as we explore the ever-expanding universe of video games. Until our paths cross again, continue to explore, game on, and challenge the limits of your virtual world. This is Past Present Play. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, friends.